Hi guys and welcome to text to speech tutorial in Python. Let me click on this button and you guys see how it works. This tutorial includes how to convert text to speech in Python. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close everything and run the program all over again. Welcome to text to speech video tutorial. I will now demonstrate how it works. Enter a sentence and click on the button below. Thank you. There we go. So I'm now going to enter whatever. This is a text to speech tutorial. So let let's get the system to read that. Hi, this is a text to speech tutorial. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start a new project entirely. Let's go to file, and I'm going to import as follows from to Kinta. I want to import it all and I start there. I will also import PyTTS X3. If you don't have PyTTS X3, I will advise you to open up your command. Okay, open up your command prompt. All you just need to do is to type in Py install. That would be P Y T T S three, and just press enter, and that will be installed on your system. I've already installed it on my system, and I'm sure it's just going to let me know that it's already installed. And what it's now asking me to do is just to update the following version. Okay, it's already installed. Look at it, already requirement already satisfied. So I'm going to exit out. There we go. So make sure you install that. Now, I'm going to start by entering root, and that root is going to be tk. The root is going to take in the following German tree, or the following German tree is going to be assigned. So I'm going to make that, let's go for about 1000. That might be too much. Times, I'm going to say the height to be about. 400 let's say plus zero plus zero that will that will actually place the coordinate right over there now that is done the next thing is let's give it a title and the the title that will be root dot title paste that in there and the title I'm just gonna call that text to speech tool is sorted. I'm now going to come down here and define the following method and that method I'll just call it text sappy. That's it. And enter parentheses and right in there I'm going to enter the following and let's just say text input. So I'm going to say text input that to be equals let's say txt enter text dot get yeah if you're wondering I don't have that yes I don't have it but I'm just adding that for now so I'm gonna say one zero and I'll say comma up to the end minus one C there we go so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come right down here and just create my text. Let's come right here. So for the text, I'm going to paste that in there and I'll just say text equals widget text. And this widget text is going to be inside root, comma, and let's say the height, that will be equals about 10. You don't have to go all this way. You can do it another way. And I'm also going to say my width I'm gonna make that about maybe 70 comma and what about background color we can make that BG that will be equals I'm gonna go for light yellow and comma and the font that's going to be equals Okay, and let's put that in, in quote and here as well. 
so for the Korea test I'm gonna make that uh, let's go for about 20 and I will also make it bold there we go now one more thing let's come right down here and just get this packed copy that press enter there let's say dot pack there I'm just taking care of the text now I'm going to take care of the label I'm going to need a label let me just copy this paste it right up here and just change this to LBL title okay LBL title and the title is going to be label so that's the widget that we're using it's a label and this label okay let's put it right at the top so okay that's fine I'm gonna get rid of this all I just need in there is gonna be the text that I want in there I can get rid of all of this yeah get rid of this and this just the font alone that's fine so let's say text that to be equals text to speech enter a comma in there that should take care of the title okay that is that done now the other thing is I also need a button let's come right down here and I'm just gonna say BTN button display button display and that is going to be the widget is going to be a button and this button is going to be inside root comma and let's say okay the height of this button will be about two comma what about the width we can make that about eight or maybe 70 whatever 70 and the text the text on it we can just say read text okay read text all right close that comma font I'm gonna grab all of this and just paste it right here now let's use command and change this to T there and uh, I'm just gonna enter that underneath here let's say command that will be equals let's go for lambda and that will be column let's grab my function here if you guys remember the function that I created earlier I'm now calling that function inside my, the lambda enter parenthesis in there alright so close that up so I'm now also going to run this up the button let's get it parked underneath here so grab hold of pack paste that in here and um, what about uh, let's say main main loop there we go all done so I'm gonna run it now and you guys see how that works so let's click on run although nothing will happen all you, all you will just see will be the text widget and the button there we go okay the title the text widget and the button nothing is happening right now let's exit out so for us to get the text to at least say something I'm gonna come in here now and I want to get this very P PT a P a pi TTX TTS X3 let's just paste that underneath here so I'm going to initialize it but to do that let's let, let's just make up something here. I'm gonna say happy that will be equals pi t t x3 dot initialize and um, what are we initializing we initializing whatever we have in there so let's come in here now I'm now gonna say sappy I want you to read as follows let's come down here paste that in there dot say the following and what are you saying whatever I have in here that's what I want you to say sappy so I'm gonna grab a hold of that text input paste that here and close that and finally we also need to round up sappy so we just need to enter run and wait 
enter semicolon or enter parenthesis I mean so I'm gonna run it now let's see how that's gonna work so what's gonna happen is whatever I enter in here is stored in here and it's read out by SAPI using this very function here okay now or oh, this library now run let's see that there we go so now let's enter something in there how to create text to speech in Python now try that out click on this button how to create text to speech in Python and that's how easy that is guys see how beautiful that is and one other thing that you guys can do is if you want you can just copy all of these and just enter your own data in there uh, I'm gonna paste that underneath here you see right underneath the button and that will just yeah let's get it indented select it all square bracket and in here I'm just gonna enter some data in there so you see where it says sappy dot C so I'm gonna enter whatever I want to enter in there so let's say welcome there we go welcome to text to speech video tutorial okay and so on that is it so I'm gonna run it now what we happen is the system will first of all read out this sentence that I have in there so let's click on run there welcome to text to speech video tutorial I will now demonstrate how it works enter a sentence and click on the button below thank you there we go so we can just enter whatever we want to enter in here the choice is yours whatever you want to enter let's assume I copy and paste all of those sappy dot say welcome to text to speech video tutorial I will now demonstrate how it works enter a sentence and click on the button below thank you um, and I'm going to delete that and let's enter something else thanks for watching and please do subscribe to the channel Get happy to read that out. Thank for watching and please do subscribe to the channel. You all have a nice day. And bye for now, guys. But before I go, let me show you guys the lines of codes again. Those are the lines of codes. And there. And that's all there is to it. Take it from the top and bring it down. Run. Welcome to text to speech video tutorial. I will now demonstrate how it works. Enter a sentence and click on the button below. Thank you. Bye for now.